Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from My Heath. So my wife, she has been um, without her kitchen for a while. So most of the cooking has been kind of creative and that sort of stuff. So um, we thought it would be kind of fun. My, now my wife promised to make me not show her on the camera because she's bashful. But uh, she thought uh, she's willing to show uh, one of her recipes. Now, so tonight is something brand new she's never tried before. It's called, what is it called? Bacon Cheeseburger Dogs. Bacon Cheeseburger Dogs. So, so what do we got here and what, and what does it consist of? Well, I have a hamburger patty. I'm just going to season it. Okay. You can use whatever kind of seasoning you want, I guess, on whatever kind you like on your burgers. But I like to use this Weber Gourmet Burger Seasoning. It's got a good flavor. Cheese stick. I'm going to roll it up. Maybe. Okay, this isn't working so well. Hang on a second. Oh, so you're going to have to pat it out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I'm going to have to pat it out a little bit. So you can roll it too yeah. thick. Oh, what size burgers thick. are those? I think these are quarter pound. They're quarter pound? No, no, no. They're half pound. Half pound burgers. I'll say they look pretty big for quarter pound. No, they're half. They're half. So you guys have seen me several times. You know I'm not really a small fella, and, and I sort of, you know, give a lot of the credit to my wife because she's a good cook, and and uh, so hopefully, you know, maybe some of the stuff that uh, she does, she'll share. She's got some things, obviously, she won't share, some family mm -hmm. recipes and stuff, but. And one, there are, there are a few of my own that I won't either. A few of your own recipes that you won't? Mm-hmm. Now, many of you guys uh, and ladies know that I call my wife spare rib, and I call her spare rib. It's a, it's sort of just a biblical thing with me, you know, the whole idea that uh, woman was created from a, a rib of, of man, and you know they have an extra rib, so she's my spare rib. So that's kind of where that kind of come from. All right, so she's uh, attempting, attempting to roll that up, huh? Yep. Well, that looks uh, that looks kind of hard to do. No, not really. You just have to keep pressing the meat together. Gotcha. Just gotta... So you're just you're so you've rolled that cheese. Uh, you've rolled the cheese around it, or I've rolled the burger around the, around the cheese. Burger around the cheese, and now you're just shaping it kind of like a like a meatloaf or a hot dog, huh? Hot dog. Okay. Because it's gonna go in a hot dog bun. Gotcha. And you do want your burgers a little big for the cheese because, well, it's going to shrink as it cooks. Okay. What kind of uh, cheese are you rolling in there? Well, I really wanted to get just plain cheddar, but we live in Podunk and I can't. So the cheese that I had to get is a, well, it's a twist. It's got cheddar and mozzarella both. Never had mozzarella on a burger before, but I'm willing to give it a try. So you were looking uh, for cheese that was already in stick shape then, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Okay, so I, all right, I see what you've done there. Now that's pretty cool. Okay. Now what are you doing now? I'm gonna take the bacon. Uh-huh. And I am going to wrap it around the dog. <gasps> the burger dog. The burger dog. Gotcha, okay. So do you have to pin the bacon on or anything? No. Or, no, just, just wrap it on there, mm -hmm. huh? And I like bacon, so I'm using two pieces to go around this. Awesome. Okay, that one's ready to go on the grill. Okay. Ta-da. All right. So, uh, so you're just going to roll up some more of these, right? And um, Yes. Okay. And you're going to do them the same way you're going to pat out the uh, meat? Kind yes. of thin so that you can roll it around your cheese sticks. Yes. Now you want stick cheese, right? This would this yes. work with uh, sliced cheese? Do you think? Um, I don't think it would work as well. It might. Okay. All right. So uh, I but tell you, I think the goal here is to really be able to bite into the cheese. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I think it would be with the mozzarella it'd be really kind of stringy too. Yeah, that's what I'm... Kind of what you're worried yeah. about? Yeah. But... 
you ha you get what you <laughs> what you can when you live in a small town and you don't have very much to choose from. That's I, I understand that for sure. Okay, so uh, so you just season both sides, pat it out, season both season sides. Season both sides. Put your cheese in there and then form it, the burger around the cheese, making sort of a dog shaped hamburger. Yes. Okay. So now, does it matter what kind of hamburger you get? You, do you want like lean burger, the, some with some fat? You or want just some with some like? fat. Otherwise, you're not going to, the burger itself isn't going to be um, very flavorful. Gotcha. Now, I see that you bought like regular hamburger patties i guess you could just do a regular ground beef just pat it's them probably out. probably would be um cheaper if you used all you know just ground beef and pat them out yourself but i've worked all day and i'm tired and i'm so you're i'm, you're looking I'm, for try, I'm trying to do convenience here gotcha well i'll tell you little what little time the, little time saver especially since the sun is starting to set you don't have a lot of daylight, do you? No. So I like, I like to see what I'm doing. I know we have some deck lights now. Oh yeah. Well, I know the viewers. I've talked about the deck lights and what that's turned into in the money pit. And speaking of that, we uh, we Melissa and I have been asking about. Hey, when are when are our replacement uh, cabinets and pieces and parts supposed to be here? And we're told not till October first can That's you believe that very sore spot with me right now yeah so my wife you know she's been without a kitchen since june oh it's been longer than that april no was it april i think it was april april, april or, or, may. or may may yeah may may it was may oh my gosh it was may and here we're in september and looking like it'll be the first week of october so yeah it's very uh disheartening now look we uh we bought through lowe's and i'm not complaining about lowe's because the uh, lady that uh, helped us design our, our space and and uh, took care of the cabinet order, she has been stellar. I won't mention her name, but she has been stellar and very helpful. Um, but I told her, I said, look, uh, it was the Shenandoah Cabinet Company. And so I'm telling you guys, uh, I wouldn't buy from them again. I won't buy from them again. Uh, they said three to five weeks. It took... Uh, nearly seven weeks to get the initial cabinets and they said typically you know it's a couple weeks two or three weeks to get replacements when they rush the order and uh the lady that uh, works our account um she's having a hard time even getting them to rush the order so uh it's no fault of lowe's but now shenandoah surely they uh manufacture for other companies other than just lowe's so you know they might call it covid or whatever but still i'm just we're not happy and and uh, when we go to do our wet bar down in the basement and need cabinets I tell you who we're not buying from. So I tell you what, while Melissa's uh, making these up, I'm going to pause the camera and then we'll come back in uh, when she uh, gets ready to start cooking them. Okay, so they're ready to go on the grill then, huh? Yes. So what have you, uh, now you have a pretty fancy grill here, right? It doesn't matter, right, what size, kind of grill, whether it's charcoal or gas or pellet or whatever, right? No. I don't know. You know, I'm not the cook here. You know, I uh, I've been known to uh, wear out some water. So what happened? You run out of bacon? No. I have a very weird daughter who doesn't like bacon on her burgers. Isn't that weird? That is something wrong with that child, man. So you just cook it until the hamburger and bacon's done, and that's that, huh? Yes, that's that. Uh -huh. And it would probably help if I had a utensil to turn the Okay. Well, she's covered them up. She's letting them cook. Now, this is the first time Melissa's ever made these, so we're really kind of interested to see how these are going to turn out. And she grabbed tongs and a spatula. She said she didn't know which one that she needed. Best 
probably going to be best to use um, ground, just ground beef instead of already had it out burgers. I was just trying to sa save myself some time. Yeah. Now I would guess that the bacon probably holds it together pretty good, doesn't it? It does. It holds it all better. Hold, holds it. Holds it together a lot better than the one without it. Well, we don't know anybody in the right mind who wouldn't want to eat bacon other than our daughter, you know. Well, but you know, hey. time here. Want to roll away from me? I wonder if those would work with the tongs since they're wrapped in bacon. They might. Get a little cook on Yeah. Awesome. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Well, I tell you what, we're going to pause the camera here, and uh, when we get close, when they're uh, about done and ready to come off the grill, we'll come back in. Well, this is our little cat. Her name is Sophie. She's little, right? She's little, right? <laughs> so I think she weighs, what does she weigh now? Last time I weighed her, she was 15 pounds. 15 pounds. So she's a fat cat. She's a, she's a, she's a my cat, I guess. But now this crazy cat loves to be laid on her back and her belly rub. You know? Yeah, there she goes. And you know, she will just let you rub her until you're sick and tired of rubbing her. Isn't that right, Sophie? <laughs> anyway, we'll we'll be back shortly. So it looks like they're uh, come along pretty good. How do you, how do you know when they're done? Well, I, I don't know if we heard you there. Sorry, I'm trying my flashlight. You need a thermometer. Okay. And with these, you don't want to stick it right in the middle because of the cheese. Right. Cheese is going to be hotter. Oh, I didn't know that. So you want to make sure that the meat is done. Um, I know some people like theirs rare or medium rare. With ground beef, I'm a little more particular, I guess, because I know the dangers involved in eating raw beef. So I want to make sure it's at least 155 degrees. 155? Yes. And I really hate the thermometer. Oh yeah. What happened to your digital? The battery gave out. No. We need you to get a battery or another digital thermometer. This one works well. It just takes a little longer. And I have my flashlight because it's dark and I need to be able to see. Oh, they're done. They're done? They're done. Okay. They're past 155, so. All right, awesome. Or at least that one is. If that one is, this one surely is because it's on the hottest part of the grill. Yeah. Okay, so they're all done? They're all done. All right, so we'll get them off the grill and uh, we'll come back. All right, so there we have it. Now, Melissa calls these... Bacon cheeseburger dogs. Bacon cheeseburger dogs. And, uh... I think she said that you just eat them on a hamburger bun. You do? And there she got her hamburger bun. No, it's a hot dog. I mean dog. hot dog bun. Hot dog hot bun. Hot dog bun. I'm slow. All right, so uh, hey, Melissa, would you say, what? now this is the first time you've ever made these, right? Oh, yeah. I would definitely get deli buns. Get deli buns? And definitely get deli buns because what? these these are just way too small. Yep. Uh, what Either else? that or what I, what I would do differently is... I would definitely buy go go ahead and buy ground beef, regular ground beef, and pat them out yourself, and pat them thinner, thinner and a little longer, and and get deli buns because that's pitiful. Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> that's pretty bad. So, um, so half pound half pound burgers. They're is, a little much. That's a little much. Yeah. So what do you think? Maybe quarter or third pound. I would go quarter. Okay. Plus, uh, I don't think it would take them as long to get done. It took these a little longer to get to get done because they're so thick. Now, uh, what would you say? How long do you think that it took for them to, to finish? It's a quarter to eight now. It probably took a good thirty minutes or so. Good thirty minutes on the and, grill. And you, what? Well, 
if you have a grill that you can set the temperature on like I do, um, I set it on 350. Gotcha. And um, it really shouldn't have taken that long. Gotcha. It Just really shouldn't thick. have. And yes. then you got them up to, uh, what'd you say you got it up to 155? 155. And that's to make sure that the beef was done, right? Yes. Okay. And you said when you measure it, don't stick it down into the cheese because the cheese is hotter? Yes. It will register hotter. Okay. Well, I didn't know that. Because melted cheese holds heat. Ah, okay. I see. All right. Well, guys, that is uh, that is a little spare rib cuisine. Uh, now, what do, uh, what, what do you recommend? Plate. What do you recommend eating these with? Just pick them up and eat Just them. Just pick them up and eat them. I'm talking about sides. This, this is sides. Oh, with a side? Uh, well, tonight we have... I have some uh, leftover potato salad and baked beans, but you can have chips or, you know, whatever you would eat with a hamburger normally. All right. French well, fries. Oh, that would be good. Okay. Well, we're going to leave it here, and we thank you so much for uh, hanging out with Melissa, my spare rib and uh, spare ribs cuisine. And uh, hopefully, uh, if you guys are interested in this, let us know. And uh, she's got a few other ideas of things that she can share. And, and hopefully... Sooner or later, the kitchen uh, remodel will be done, and she, ha she, she won't have to be so creative in how she cooks and prepares stuff. So other than that, have a blessed day.